What's up guys? As I said last week in the other video, my usual office will kind of recognize I'm a bit of an awkward situation right now because the guys are doing some works on the pipes for the air conditioning. But you'll see, I brought a few of the pieces of memorabilia that I usually like to keep behind me recognized from my other videos. But today, I'm at my cousin's Taryn's house. Before I get back to started, I just wanted to say, get the basics app. It's smart ways to save money. And as I like to say, it's even a little bit fun. Growing your nest egg became a lot easier. These apps can help you create a savings plan that will pay dividends for years to come. This is a really great simple solution to help you take control of your money. So definitely try it out. Okay, so the first thing I just pulled off the shelf is totally from the 1990s. This is a little Pikachu guy for the Pokemon games. Um, it's a card game. It's a show. It's video games, total global phenomena from Japan, <laughs> and it even, oh my god, oh my god, I forgot about that. That is so sick. He does a little noise when you pull the arms. Let's just try one more time so you can check it out. Here, I'll get that in focus. You're doing a little noise, I love that. Okay. When I was little, this was like my best friend. These Pikachu guys, they're so little, so cuddly, almost like a teddy bear, except as you can see, it is plastic. So again, this is pretty old, so at this point, it's almost vintage. It's just a little something that for like the kids or for anybody, it's just really great to have around. It's a really good product, endless joy and fun and games that I can't really express. So all in all, a great product. Get one of these things, because it's a really good time. Also, don't forget a sneak peek later in the episode. Stick around, you're gonna watch me meet my dad. The next item here, I promise I'm almost done with the winter stuff, but it's super awesome. So this, some of you guys will recognize. This is the Godfather classic, VHS tape, one and two, both parts. This, Don Corleone. Say hello to my little friend! You guys all know this one. It's a classic. Say less, right? <laughs> I know. Anyways, I got this vintage VHS tapes. You'll take it out and you'll see it says The Godfather. 1972 color, 171 minutes. Um, and it's got rated R, as you know, so not something you're gonna wanna, you know, be doing around the kids, something like that. No. Um, again, guys, it does have this FBI warning, so I just do wanna say it's not something where you wanna be recording this, replicating it, or giving it out to people, or anything like that I will say one thing about this product it is you know only works on those old tape players so unless you got one of those lying around you're not gonna be doing much with this tape is more just something to hang on the wall do a cork board a poster something cute like that in the back of the room if you're not have one of those old tape players that you can just kind of you know pop it in and go for it so this next product I actually won a Kona Island Midway in like again the 1990s but this is a classic Penny Hardaway jersey. Technically, vintage item again, really cool. Um, you'll see on the back, you'll notice it is a newborn. It does have the tag for newborn, and you'll see just holding it up for scale, totally a really small item. So, not something that, you know, if you're an adult or even, you know, um, not like a kid or something like that, you're probably not gonna be able to wear this a whole lot or do much with it. So, kind of a useless item, but also it's just sentimental value, it's just jam-packed. It's also champion, so that's kind of on the comeback now, another brand that's like totally retro, but also on the comeback, they did a really nice job with the rebrand the last couple of years, before it was kind of like, not so cool, but they kind of brought it back, and it's going from cheap to collectors in like millisec. So, I will show you though, just the snap feature. It does have these snaps, they just go one by one, there's four, and you just pluck them off until they fall, and then the onesies open, and you can slide it on, you know, like a baby or whoever. Anyways, like I said, probably not something that you're gonna wanna have around if you don't have a kid or something like that. I probably wouldn't buy it new, but again, like I said, it's a collector's item that I won a really long time ago, shooting hoops at the Midway on Coney Island. Let me know, also guys, I always want to know, like, what you think about these items. I always want to know what you guys think, so let me know. Smash that like button and just spice it up in the comments. Whatever you got to say, I want to hear it all. Also, guys, just quick one to say, I got this mask with me on the table. This is, I just bought it one dollar at the dollar store. You can really, it just goes on like this, over the ears, over the ears. 
It's just something you can do to your part for stop and help the crazy spread of the COVID-19. And it's a simple thing right now with a mask like this. Also, let me know in the comments what you think about the mask. The next thing I dug up, guys, you're probably going to find this super weird. This is some super funny action figures from a show you'll definitely recognize. Check it out. It's Peter Griffin. Lois! Lois! <laughs> so, you know, this guy is always just messing stuff up for the family. He's kind of like the main guy to show. His family guy, you know. Um, but then this is wife Lois, okay? You know all about that, <laughs> right? Um, I don't have the Stewie. So for those of you who don't know on the show, there's the, <laughs> the baby is Stewie. And he's just this crazy baby, guys, who's always doing messed up stuff to the mom, to the dad, to the dog, to everybody. So, it's super crazy, but I don't have the figurine. But again, like I said, I got some more of these figurines that I'm going to check out with you guys. So, it's okay. The next one is Chris. It's kind of funny. He's always doing stuff like he's not so great at anything. He's kind of sad. Again... It's probably not a show you want to be watching if you have the kids around or something like that because these guys can get super wrong and say some crazy stuff. But again, it's super hilarious if you're sitting down watching with friends, something like that. So another thing I got, I know it's a different show, but I got some Simpson toys from the same company. Again, Playmaker Toys and MJ Croce. By the way, let me know what you guys think about the whole controversy of the stuff that's made in China in the comments below. I love discussions like that. Anything. So this Marge Simpson, you guys know this one. And this one, this one's actually got a really cool feature I haven't quite figured out. I'm going to play around with it. But this is something, it's a little chip inside the shoe that makes me think when this was made in 2000, you know, had some batteries or something or got solar power from the sun. So it's something like that. I don't know. Maybe he moved around, maybe said a little funny joke because this guy's always saying the crazy stuff. If anybody knows what's up with this, if you know the answer, drop it in the comments below. I love discussions like that. Just drop it in the comments below. Okay, guys. This for you music nerds out there. This is something I just got this week off of Amazon. It's a Kala brand ukulele, which from what I know about this, which is not a whole lot, I'll be honest, guys. I just picked this thing up. Not really sure how it works, but we're going to find it out together today. It's kind of shaped like this, kind of like a guitar, but very small. And it's got these pegs on the top, these things where you can just kind of tighten or loosen the strings depending on what you want to do with them. Um, I'm not really sure, but again, we'll, we'll look into that, how it works like that. So basically, I think what you do is you just kind of, and you just slide this up and you just hold all these strings down one by one and you just kind of scoot up this thing. Um, it sounds pretty cool. I'll be honest, I never really played a lot of music before, but um, you know, I really love it. Um, so again, something like this, it's always going to be a journey, guys. And listen, I got to be honest with you, you can't just like give up on the first try. <laughs> you know what I mean? Something like this, it's always going to take practice, and it's always going to take getting used to it if it, like, it's not something you've ever done before or something like that. So I just want to say, stick with it. You know, there's a musician in everybody. You know, you're walking down the street, just humming to yourself, singing in the shower, we all do it, okay? So guys, it's not like something you're gonna pick up and just be like Jimi Hendrix on the first try. So remember, it's just something that you wanna try, which is awesome. I will say the one drawback on this product is it's not really something you're gonna get a whole lot of use of if you're not playing music with it. So again, for me, it's, you know, something I like to try, some, but if I'm not playing music with it, it's probably a no. What's up, guys? My dad's Uber just showed up. Here he is. Because I'm just going to have my dad sit down in this chair right next to me. So, can you see, Dad? Such a special moment. Guys, I just want to take it slow for a second. So guys, my dad just got here. I'm so privileged to meet him for the very first time right here on the show. Dad, how was the trip? Uh. 
So what's up guys? At the end of the video, be sure to go down in the comments and let me know what you think about my dad. Okay, we're gonna review some products from his childhood that he brought today together. What do you got, Dad? <laughs> really cool, Dad. Okay, guys, so we're kind of gonna go shot for shot right down the line. Rapid fire. He lets you know what he thinks about the broom. I'm gonna give you my take. So, this broom. I don't know guys, it's pretty creepy to me, so probably not something I would use, but again, we can debate on that, so let me know in the comments what you think about my dad's creepy broom. What do you got next, dad? Guys, check it out. My dad just brought this iconic Louisville Slugger Rawlings Adirondack 302F. Again, it's trademark, so you don't want to go copying this logo for your channel or nothing like that, guys. But my dad just brought this bat. What do you think? Okay, Dad, so super cool. Guys, let us know. Let me and my dad know in the comments what you think of all this stuff, especially the bat. Okay, so the next thing we're going to check out, what do you got, Dad? Right on, Dad. So this is kind of cool. I'll give you my take. Not really for me, and probably if you have kids around, this thing looks pretty dusty, so you don't want to be handing this out to the kids because they might catch a cold, get some allergies, or inhale some dust, or something like that. What else you got, Dad? Okay, so my dad brought this little baby doll again, kind of creepy. Sorry, dad. Um, but it's kind of cute if you look at it, but again, there's some chipping on the eye. This thing hasn't totally been well maintained, unlike some of the other vintage stuff that I showed you guys. This is not in such great shape. So again, for me, probably for an antique or like a vintage product, it's got to be mint condition or kept really good. And again, this is not in such great shape. So for me, it's a no. What else you got, Dad? Alright guys, wow, that was super emotional and super fun. Thanks for checking out all these products with me. And again, thanks for checking out me meeting my dad for the very first time. I just put him on the Uber back to Newark. So I'm all solo here now at Taryn's house. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Check it out in the comments. I reviewed tons of products today. We had the Family Guy figurines, the ukulele color brand. We had the Pikachu, remnants of the childhood. So awesome. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think about all those products I reviewed in the comment section below. And also, please, let me know what you think of my dad. Anyways, guys, it's been great today. Like, subscribe, do my channel. So much fun. Thanks, everybody. Bye.